Understand, considering almost none of you stood up to do the math. At least one person. None of you have a single question. No? I don't want you coming out of this with a hollow understanding. So just ask me any question you have, even if you think you already know the answer. I see. Uh. some number n. So when we're talking about this, uh, we have the square root of n squared plus x1 squared times 2. Well, no. We have n squared plus x1 squared plus the square root of n squared plus x2 squared. So in a case where x1 is less than x2, or in a case where x1 is greater than x2, versus a case where we have 2 times n squared plus uh, 2, 2 x1 squared. Uh, how can we prove that this is going to be less than, say, a place where x1 is less than s, x2? Uh, OK, plus n squared plus x2 squared. OK, so, uh, and here we're assuming this x1 is less than, how do I, I don't know. Let's call this y, for example. So hmm, how can we prove that this is less than this, uh, where y is equal to uh, x1 plus x2 over 2? Well, I guess we could work around it with some very weird algebra. So, uh, but it would eventually come out to something like this. So plus x1 plus x2 squared over 2 less than n squared plus x1 squared plus root n squared plus x2 squared. It should be pretty easy to uh, prove that these two are, uh, so one is lesser than the other, but I guess I'll still have to try just to prove it. Okay, so let's square both sides. Two times n squared plus uh, x1 plus x2 squared over two is less than, this side is going to be n squared plus x1 squared plus, oh boy, uh, we have to do n squared plus x1 squared. This is not 
very easy to work with. Uh, but n to the fourth plus x squared squared n squared plus x1 squared n squared plus x1 squared x2 squared. Uh, so that's not going to be easy to figure out. n fourth plus x squared n2 squared uh, plus x1 squared n squared plus x1 squared x2 squared. That is not something I want to work with right now. Uh, okay, that is not good. That is very not good. Because then it would have to mean uh, if. Yes? You click law of triangle to do what? The sum of two sides of a triangle is greater than the third side, always. Uh, how can we use that to do this? Uh, x1 plus, okay. How is that going to be applicable here? Because if I talk about, I don't know, this case, x1, x2, and n, uh, we can say this is hypotenuse one, hypotenuse two. Obviously, hypotenuse one has to be less than n plus x1. Hypotenuse two has to be less than n plus x2.